You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a, a new face for Greater Brockton. I have Kathy Rose, who is the president of the Keith Park Neighborhood Association. Did I get it right? That is correct. You got it, Nice Mark. to see you. Nice to see you, too. You have done, you and the group have done incredible planning for a brand new event in Brockton coming up. Yes, we're very excited about it. Um, it's hopefully going to be it with an, a hugely international flavor, which we I think we would love to see in this city. Um, it's called A Sunday in the Park with George Keith, mm -hmm. 1917 Pop-Up Village. And what it is is we have pulled together um, a vast array of in, information and um, people, really. I mean, of course, that's our best asset in the city. Mm -hmm. um, and we're going to basically have people dressed as villagers from 1917. They will be in front of various backdrops um, from iconic Campello buildings like this, the old South Congo Church, um, the old Keith Theater, the Keith Mansion, um, that kind of thing. There'll be nine of them. And they'll basically be almost role-playing. They'll be able to talk to the people of 2017 about what life was like in Brockton in 1917. It was a, um, a very uh, time of growth for this city. The shoe industry was exploding. Um, we were about to go into the war, World War I. And so there was a lot of immigrant immigration coming then, as there is now. Mm -hmm. um, obviously different type of immigration. Then we had the Lithuanians and the Swedes mostly here in Brockton. And now we have, um, you know, the Haitians, the Cape Verdes, and, um, but still the melting pot as Brockton has always been. Best part of Brockton, in my opinion, is Absolutely. it's always been a city of immigrants, if you really think about it. Now, this is exciting. A hundred years ago, Yeah. okay, you didn't have these things. Oh, yes, no. You didn't no. have internet. Nope. You had old-fashioned books. You had pen and paper. It might have even been a quill. Mm -hmm. Brockton was only incorporated at that point for 26 years. Correct. Because it Correct. was 1891. And it was kind of, in a way, if you look at the history, the kind of the gilded age of Brockton. Oh, you, you, absolutely. I mean, the, the, the Keith Mansion, mm -hmm. which is in the park that's now being renovated thanks to the efforts of your group and the city of Brockton. Correct. And, and getting grants and funds, mm -hmm. that was an amazing lot. They, right now downtown where I am, across the street where Irving's is, was another mansion. I don't remember what it was, but I've seen the pictures of it. That's right. That corner over there. Mm -hmm. the, the Mainspring House was the commercial club. Mm -hmm. there, were, there were a lot of really beautiful buildings. I lived for a brief period of time in the Douglas Estate over on West Elm. Okay. It's all chopped up into little apartments now. I right. lived in both the main building and the carriage house. Excellent. It had a floor that burnt off. It got flattened, mm -hmm. just like the building we're in at Brockton <laughs> Community Access, mm -hmm. which was a bank at one point. But what you're talking about doing, no one's ever done before, okay? We've, we've looked back on the history. When the city had its centennial in 1981, I still remember it. It was pre-cable days, so there's no videotape footage mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. But there was a parade down Main Street. Yep. There were, and I think, to me, that was the last time that anything of this type was even attempted. The Historical Society right. does a lot of wonderful things. Mm -hmm. And I know you're partnering with the Historical we Society. Are. We are, yes. In fact, um, Jim Benson and Carl Landerholm are helping um, train our villagers mm -hmm. so that they can speak to um, t of the time. We're doing a lot of homework on our own, of course. Um, okay. But we're doing, we're get, everyone's getting a crash course in the, their specific uh, part of the history of Brockton um, mm. so they can speak to the people who are coming around, um, hopefully taking part in this. Um, part of the, the grant, we did get a grant from Mass Humanities. That's mm -hmm. who we got this um, grant from. That is, they're, they're more about education mm -hmm. than they are about, um, they are about the arts also, but it's more like what are people going to get out of this, of this program? which is why we're actually kicking it off. There's going to be a town crier who's mm -hmm. going to be at, at noon. It's from 12 to 6 on June 11th. And um, there's going to be um, all kinds of uh, crafts for the kids to get involved and make old-fashioned hand uh, handkerchief dolls. 
And, it's, and that's exactly. the word that they all put down to defeat at the spelling bee, the word handkerchief. Absolutely. I judged, I think it was grade three, <laughs> and I felt so bad. That was the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. It's at the Nelson Park Playground, which is adjacent to the South Middle School, That correct? is correct. That is okay. correct, yes. And the rain god's going to stay away, you told me, but yep. there is a backup plan just in case. The backup plan is the Brockton Public Schools have been very gracious, and they have allowed us to open the building. Mm -hmm. um, for, for two things. One is the building will be open generally for bathroom use. Mm -hmm. um, however, if it should rain, which as you say, we have all put in our order and it's not going to, um, we can move everything inside and set up in there and have the event inside. So it's rain or shine. Mm -hmm. um, parking will be at South and also at the Huntington School. Any, any excess parking can park over at the Huntington. And it's a short walk. If you go park down near where the Walgreens is, there's a city lot there exactly. that you can walk down the street exactly. if, if you need to. Okay. If you need to. Um, there's going to be um, just so much going on. Uh, there really is. We've got Model Ts are going mm -hmm. to be there. We have live entertainment all day. Um, okay. we've got, we have jazz, we have ragtime, we have Dixieland, mm -hmm. and we have barbershop. Wow, which was all popular all from at, nine, yep. at the time. We have a woman. No rap. There no rap. No rap. In no that, rap. Although we could commission a 1917 rap maybe for the next year. Maybe you can get the barbershop quartet going. Yeah. I don't know. Uh. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm just being silly. I but. Believe it or not, remember I told you this was going to go by quick? Mm -hmm. I got the three-minute cue. So we have three minutes to tell them everything you okay. need to know. But we are also going to bring on and do other segments okay. to talk about the different ethnic groups at the time. Okay. And... Uh, one of the masterminds behind the whole project is going to come and join us. I'll oh, leave yes. that as a surprise Absolutely. at this point. Okay. So what do we have left for about two and a half minutes? For two and a half minutes. Okay. We are, um, just so everybody realizes this, we have food. Mm -hmm. There will be food. We have Lady C and J is coming for burgers and dogs. Mm -hmm. uh, the Cape Cod Cafe will be bringing their world-famous Greek salad. Simpson Springs will be on hand with all their different tasty little uh, sodas that they have, um, all for a very reasonable s small fee. Mm -hmm. um, we have, we, uh, we just went real quick, we need to thank some of our sponsors. We've got the Barber Corporation, Brockton Housing Authority. Um, Churchill Linen is, gave us the, the, the handkerchiefs with a D. Nice. Um, Benner Camera, Bruce Benner is a saint. He has been, he's helped us out with the backdrops. backdrops. Oh, that's huge, very important. I can't huge, wait huge, to see huge. those. And lastly, we are still looking for anybody who is a crafter. If you still want to participate, please um, go to our website, which is Campello Pop Up. Dot weebly dot com, or you can go to our Facebook page, which is um, Campello Pop-Up Village 1917, for more information, for sign-up information. Crafters are $25. Um, organizations are $35. And if you want to come down and you're a politician and you want to hang a sign, it's 50 bucks. Good. Get them for the 50 bucks. Yes. That's good. They all have donations that's, and campaign that's accounts. That's right. And they would support it. Now, 50 bucks back in 1917, if you were doing a campaign expenditure, would have been quite a bit of money. Oh, yes. Nowadays, it's just a drop, drop in, the in the bucket. Drop in the bucket. Ching, ching. But okay. come on down and take part. It's going to be a blast. Good old-fashioned phone number to talk to anybody for, because yeah, uh, it's going to obviously draw some seniors, mm -hmm. people that may have been in Campello. Is there a phone There number? is a phone number. Um, okay. You can reach, it would be Lynn Smith. Okay. You can call 774 yeah. Three eight one eight one five zero. Yep. Uh, if you don't get her personally, leave a message. She'll call you back. She can help you hook up with whatever you might be interested in. Um, we still have tent tent space available. If you want to, you know, any groups that still want to participate and we are not already on board, please give us a call. Um, we're, we are, if nothing else, um, able to change at a moment's notice. And we're going to be there, but it's better to go. We're going to capture sights and sounds mm -hmm. and different things, but it's nothing like going. Oh, it's nothing okay. like this. Okay, going again. live. It's like live music. We cover a lot of music. We mm -hmm. cover graduations. Mm -hmm. You got to be there, mm -hmm. and then you can relive it on exactly. TV after right. the point. If I agree. someone's housebound, they can't, but they can they can view it at that point. Absolutely. But come on down. I mean, I I think you're going to start a trend. Okay, I just got the high sign. So just to real real summarize real quick. Sunday in the Park with George Keith, 1917 Pop-Up Village. Sunday, June 11th, 12 to 6, Nelson Park Playground at South Middle School. Be there or be square. Exactly. Thank All you, right. Kathy. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate it. You're watching Greater Brockton. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces.
right here in the city of champions.